Meet Mandy, one of our brand new slimmers. Over the next six weeks, you will be losing a stone in the next six weeks. My name is Jodie and this is Mandy, everyone. Hi, Mandy. Hi. Hello. Or should I say welcome back, Mandy? You are one of our hardcore slimmers, aren't you? Back. Ooh. I first met you, you know, 12, I think it's 12 or 13 years ago, Mandy. Oh, yeah, time flies, don't it? it a bit. So, but I haven't I actually... Weight, man. I lost lots of weight at that point. You didn't certainly I? did. Uh, yeah. So I haven't seen you since before COVID and lockdown. How did lockdown affect you? Oh, it didn't. My daughter said, <laughs> it won't affect you, will it? You don't go outside. <laughs> so... I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit here, sit at home eating. <laughs> oh, now, let me just tell everybody in your defence, you have something called fibromyalgia, don't you? Yes. And some days you have it really severe where you literally don't, you, you can't physically get out of bed, can you? No, yeah, that's right. I mean, I do get out of bed every day, but that's it. I can't always walk about outside, can I? Yeah. Yeah. So. And many of my slimmers actually have fibro. Um, and it is, I still find it so shocking how one day you can be completely fine. And then the next day you're literally getting out of bed is literally a, a huge task, isn't it, to do? So yeah. how has it well, been recently? It's been a lot worse because... Um, I I did some, you know, I just moved something around that I shouldn't have done. And ever since then, it's been weeks and weeks ago. My hip has just been killing all the time. Even standing up in one spot is painful. But I'd noticed before that happened, I'd stopped eating bread. And that did help with the pain levels. But they've gone back up again now, so I don't know what to do about that. Okay. You will be able to help me, won't you, with my new... Absolutely. <laughs> so this is the most important thing when you've got fibro, is not to overdo the exercise. And in fact, I would say don't even focus on the exercise at all. It's really important just to focus on the nutrients. Um, and like you said earlier, you have lost lots of weight with Slim Brother before. Um, so you know kind of the basics. You mentioned bread there already. It is the bane of everyone's lives because we all love bread so much and bread yeah. products as well. What's your biggest issues with food at the moment? What are you uh, tempted towards that you shouldn't be having? Oh. oh, sweet things, biscuits, puddings. Because you have your dinner and you'd be really good, don't you? And then afterwards... You go and get the biscuits or you'll say, well, what are we going to have for pudding? My son says he doesn't seem to eat after he's had his tea. That's it. I'm like, you don't eat after tea. And that's it. I can't get my head around that because me and my husband, we we'll, we'll make each other. He's, he's very fit anyway, so he's all right. But, you know, it, we make each other worse because he'll say, I'll go and get an ice cream. Oh, I'll have an ice cream. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> You're then, egged on by each other, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah, but he's very fit because of his active because of his job. But I'm not, am I? So I can't eat the same quantities. Yes, unfortunately, that is very true. Um, so as always with Slim Brother, it's really important to make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. And hopefully that will stop these hunger cravings after you've eaten uh, and satisfy you as well to some level. Um, and if you do feel like you want something sweet, then this is where having some fruit with some yogurt, I would oh. really recommend even, <laughs> Mandy, some strawberries and cream, something like that. So something where you're getting something fresh and sweet, but also some protein in there, like the yogurt yeah. or the cream. It's changing your mindset as well, isn't it? Because, you know, would you rather have an apple or a bar of chocolate? You'd have the apple. <laughs> said the apple <laughs> right. your mindset's perfect already Monday. <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> You'd have the apple, wouldn't you? <laughs> but the, the strange thing is, if I was to make you a fresh fruit salad with loads of different fruits, you'd really enjoy it and it tastes yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. I think a lot of it is just preparation time. You know, it's so simple and quick just to have a bar of chocolate or a piece of cake, isn't it? Where with yeah. fruit and things like you have to prepare it or wash it or something like that. So trying to get a little bit organised and get stuff ready is probably the key. Uh, and then you will look forward to it. Yeah. Now, you've trekked with my fitness pal before, haven't you? Our app? Yes. Have you still got it on your phone? no i've got a newer phone now but right. I'll put... yeah so if you can try and download that then and start tracking your foods from today that will be yeah. great uh, and then next week what we'll do is go through your food diary and we'll try and tweak it a little bit to make sure you're on the right path yeah have you got food in at the moment yes what <laughs> i've got I was <laughs> I was just gonna what day do you normally do your weekly shop um it varies anyway yeah oh well, tomorrow we'll, we'll probably need some food actually because we're running out of milk and where do you normally go um I'm I'm thinking Tesco really okay great I so, don't like the Greek yogurts you know they don't taste the same as the Tesco Greek yogurt you don't like the Aldi Greek yogurt? No, neither does John. There's something wrong with their Greek yogurt recipe. Have, have you tried? Uh, do you get the one in the long tub or the one in the short fat tub? I get the is it the what five hundred grams or the one kilo of Greek yogurt? Um, is it in like a bucket or is it in in the longer bucket? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You bet. There's a there's another container which is like a shorter, big circle one. Yeah. The problem is that the tall one is Greek style yogurt, and that short yeah. one is real Greek yogurt. So it's thicker and it's got that consistency that you're looking for. Yeah. So that's the, the difference. The normal supermarket ones are okay, but w the Aldi and little one doesn't just doesn't taste the same. And John says the drinking yogurts don't either yeah i think it's just because of the price they they somehow don't let it uh cultivate long enough or something so you don't get that lovely flavor yeah so that's the issue yeah so sorry to disappoint you mandy <laughs> <laughs> but yes go, go to tesco then tomorrow that'll be fab get yourself yeah. some yogurts yeah how are you with like nuts and seeds and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I like them. Yeah. Great. So get some mixed nuts, maybe some mixed seeds as well, so you can start adding those on top of fruits and yogurts, just to make it taste a little bit more delicious. Yeah. Now, last time when we spoke as well before um, lockdown, uh, you've been diagnosed with diabetes as well, hadn't you? Uh, Pre-diabetes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, pre-diabetes. How's you, how's that now? Um, I just have a blood test once a year, so it's not being treated. The the fun fact is that me and Mandy actually have the same diabetic ner uh, doctor, oh, don't God. we, Mandy? <laughs> <laughs> I won't so, say anything. <laughs> so off camera, we have been enjoying uh, some lovely stories about our doctor and his diabetes, uh, but. It, <laughs> <laughs> but this is our common link isn't it between us mandy our lovely diabetes journey with the tupbury practice uh yeah. and for anybody else who uh, has got diabetes out there you know covid really messed up the diabetes diabetes service because now you have to go on your birthday and you just have a blood shot uh, or you have some blood taken where before it used to be a little bit VIP, didn't it, Mandy? They took you in, they gave you a nice talking to, or it's kind of all remote now, which is not very nice. What, what do you think? Uh, oh, I, I probably didn't get diagnosed till COVID because they just gave me this app and you have to do it all through an app and it's not the same, is it? You don't have the same motivation without speaking to somebody, do you? Absolutely. Well, 
the diabetes doctor used to check all my toes. He used to do all sorts of things. He even used to weigh me as well. So there was many tests that you used to get before COVID that doesn't happen now. So uh, that is the modern, unfortunately, doctor's GP service. But anyway, um, how are you doing with meals out and stuff like that? Is there any other challenges you have with food? It's better now because I saw on the news they're going to start putting the calories on most meals, aren't they now? Yes, on, the... on menus, yeah. Yeah, so that's better. And I noticed even the difference between mushy peas and garden peas, you've got to go for the garden peas, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's there and we were going... Oh, I've got to go for the garden peas. Look at the difference. It's got all that sugar in the mushy peas, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, I hope that's the positives about being uh, the calories on there. Obviously, yeah. there are some exceptions to calories. Have you ever, do you like avocados? Yes. Like Avocados are really high in calories, but they've got some good fats in as well. So there are some yeah. exceptions where you should go for a higher calorie thing. Another thing that somebody sent me as well the other day, they went out for a roast dinner and they saw that roast beef was the highest calories out of all the different meats. However, yeah. beef has got something called purines in, which makes you feel full. Uh, and to be honest, most people love beef because it's so tasty as well. So there are some exceptions where you should go for the higher calorie thing. Yeah. But definitely with sweet things, you're right. When it's, something's got a lot of sugar in, it will be higher in calories like mushy peas. Yeah. So it's better for us to have them calories on the menus, isn't it? Really? Yes. That's correct. I think it's great. Yes, I do. <laughs> think more. Instead of just ordering everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. And regarding to food in the house and stuff like that, have you got any Easter treats left over? I only had made sure I only had one Easter egg this year, so that's good. Great. Um, we've got chocolates from Christmas. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Well, are you not that much of a chocolate fan then? I think I brought too many because the kids don't live at home, do they? And I'm like, oh, we'll need more chocolate in. But also after Christmas, you get the cheap selection boxes, don't you? So you just eat a whole one in one go, don't you? Can Give you? Uh... Someone else. <laughs> can you? Can you give them away, Mandy, to your lovely kids? Yeah, someone else will eat them. If I say I'm not allowed these anymore. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, maybe getting them out of the house would be helpful for you. Yeah. Great. Okay, so what is your goal for the next six weeks? Um, to, to be motivated to do it, really, and um, try and not eat biscuits in between it's the evenings isn't it as well yeah. and when I think I've gone to bed and they're not looking I get the biscuits out so I've got to be careful with that yeah it's not just you as I said just think about your meals and try and plan in that fruit or something sweet at the end of the meal and then hopefully it won't lead to those biscuits coming out but also improving, increasing how much protein you have in your meal should, again, help you with not wanting something sweet at the end. Yes. Great. Right. So that's it from me, Mandy. Have you got any other questions? No, not this week. Great. Right. Okay. We will continue next week on the trials and tribulations of our diabetes doctor. <laughs> <laughs> right bye for now all right bye, bye. <laughs>